and your symposium has become an event where we would all like to not only get together, network, and celebrate the, the, the growing life of BMI and its, and its journey, but it is also taking on the shape of a conclave where some of the most important topics in the development sector are debated and discussed. I am also happy to share with you that uh, DMI has got its plan in Vista and uh, on that plan the uh, state government has agreed to build a campus for DMI. So I, I hope that uh, in two years time we should have a symposium there in the own campus of uh, DMI and I must uh, compliment and congratulate uh, director of DMI and his entire team and his placement team that for this year for these students who will be graduating all of them have already been placed. This year's theme chosen by DMI Symposium Committee is a natural progression to an extremely relevant area. The founding fathers of our constitution were indeed very progressive, even in the conservative social environment then prevailing, they built into the constitution provisions for gender equity and positive discrimination for empowering women to neutralize the social, cultural, educational and political disadvantages faced by them. As development academics and development professionals, Many of us have sifted through growing volumes of literature on women's empowerment. We in Bihar have been fortunate to personally witness the phenomenon of women as agents of change for development happening in Bihar in the last 14 years. Therefore, the choice of the theme to mark DMI's five fruitful years of existence is very topical. As more and more women join the workforce, feminization of Indian agriculture accelerates and more importantly women assume leadership roles in diverse spheres of India's social and economic life. This really brought to the front where women were in the society. At the same time a number of movements started. My own organization Seva was started by Ila Bhatt in uh, Ahmedabad uh, in 1972, women's, uh, Working Women's Forum was started in Tamil Nadu, Annapurna Mahila Mandal was started in Mumbai, Manipuri women were leading struggles. So there were a lot of women's movements led by women uh, in the 1970s. And the results of which we are seeing now. Um, these women had a leader, had a sort of vision towards equality equality in the workplace, equality in the family, equality in the political processes. Um, however, you know, not all women are equal. Uh, women also are divided uh, as the rest of the population or as men are in uh, caste, by caste, by class, by income, by region. And if we begin to talk about women as one large community, that's 50% of our population. So here I would like to just focus on those women who are the most disadvantaged, who are in small and marginal, who are from small and marginal fam um, farmer families, from land-based laborer families, from artisan families, from um, urban, who live in urban slums, who are in the unorganized sector. So I think you will understand, I would like to focus on the masses of the women who, who need to change and whose movements will change society. Um, today we talk a lot about the uh, issues of empowerment. I think an empowerment is a word that is used very broadly today. So these are the women who at first were scared to sit on it now very happily and merrily are sitting on it and making others also do it and earning money out of it. Thank you all very much. I will request uh, Chairman Sir to give a memento to our chief guest.